Okay, I'm back. I decided to attempt to sate my sweet tooth with an apple. Didn't really work. And I don't have anything. And everything in town is closed. <sighs> Hopefully I'm over this craving for tomorrow so I don't like cave. But we'll see. Overdue book retrieval, okay. They're not returning our books. I still remember the day when like, uh, libraries were like, we don't have overdue, we don't have late fees anymore. It doesn't matter, please come back, <laughs> kind of thing. Cause I think, I think library use in general has been like declining steadily. I think that's primarily due to the, due to the internet. Cause you didn't, you didn't, if you needed information, you don't need to go to a library for it anymore. You just look it up on your phone. And then there are so many other like book related services and that's being sapped. There's so many other book related services that like, you just, you just don't need a library anymore. Like you don't, they're not needed for anything. It's nice that they're there, I suppose, but they don't offer anything unique. I mean, maybe they do now. I've, I have not been in one in like 20 years, but. Long now time, oh, Anton. Who is he in love with again? I forget. Or maybe he hasn't found her yet. I'm thinking of Cold Steel. And a monster. Okay. Let's see. Who the fuck is this? No one does, no one's ever in here. Oh, it's the chief. Hello there, Tio. Long time no see, Chief Roberts. You're from the Epstein Foundation, right? So uh did you come to leave a new weapon for Tio again? Uh, actually, I heard that the special support section had gotten involved in something dangerous recently. <clears throat> I merely came here to ask Garand uh, about the rumors. That's all it was, really. I'm sorry, I did not mean to worry you. Can't lie, I got pretty crazy there for a bit, but it's all under control now. Yes, there's no need to worry. The dust has settled in the past two, three weeks. Uh, very well, then. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, Tio, I have the latest model orbital staff with me. Put it to good use, okay? Lloyd was right after all. He was. Alright, what we got? They're expensive. But they're also a good upgrade. Good 20. 20 for everybody. Okay. First things first, I need money. Let's just go straight to the bank. Who parks here? I guess there's nowhere else to park, but like, come on. Okay, I have a ton of these. Let's do like 400 each. That should be enough to buy everything I, all the equipment I need. Forty-two K. That should be good. I will not believe who's in that limo. Mr. Kreis will be returning for his lengthy business trip today. In fact, he should be arriving any minute now. Now I gotta go look. You bring up quite the fascinating point. Well, it's exactly as you say, my who could have thought I'd meet such a colorful character as yourself here in Crossbell? Right back at you, old man. I mean, look at you. You weren't satisfied with being a banker your whole life, so you shot for the stars. I should follow you in your footsteps. The heart? 
Makes me think this is Olivier for some reason. Hey, isn't that Mr. Croix's limousine? Seem to be engaged in some kind of conversation in there. Let's look inside. Oh, it's Lecter. Of course it's Lecter. Well, I might have just I had gotten just a little impatient then, but it's actually paid off later on, you see. You truly are unique. I'd be remiss to let someone of your talent slip away from me. Allow me to be frank. How would you like to come work for me? Hmm? Working under the IBC C CEO, huh? Would it be my hour what did my hourly wage be? Hmm, I see you have a sense of humor too, excellent. What the hell is this guy's deal? I can't believe he already, he's already worked himself into Uncle Dieter's good graces. Kind of at a loss for words. How am I supposed to react to this? This man, just who is he? Uh, let's see if Mariabelle is around. Her freaky evil dolls are around, though. I, I wanted it to be Olivier just because I wanted to, I want him to be in the game. I don't know I don't know where he's supposed to be right now in the timeline because he's not really in the in the first two Cold Steel games. He's kind of just off in the background, so he could have been in Crossbell. He could still show up, I don't know. I don't remember. I remember looking at his profile and he has and it has like a list of like the games he's in. I don't remember if he's in the crossbow games or not. That's okay, his voice lives on in Michelle. Well, Mary Bell ain't here. I wonder if I have the U materials to just immediately upgrade these. Uh, I should check the clothing stores first. So these are 72 and 36 and 36. So do I have you materials? How many do I have? 21. The last set of weapons needed five each. And I'm assuming I'll need more per weapon. Okay, these are old. Accessories. The English VA for Sky was none other than Troy Baker. There's the English VA for Sky? I haven't heard any of this. Although it might have been for like one certain platform. Olivier. I know he's voiced by, I think it's Matt. I want to say it's Matt Mercer in Cold Steel. I guess it could be either way. They both, when they both put on a voice, they sound pretty similar. This guy is Troy Baker. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> mm 
My Olivier voice is the best. He's a purveyor of truth and love. Uh, is this new? I don't know if I have this poster or not already. I think I do? Alright, this is food. That reminds me, I, I think I, I do need to, like, visit the rooms and put decorations in it. Okay, I do have the Ilya poster already. Alright, that one's empty. That's the Chiefs. Wait, do I have... Do I have two of the one for Tio? I guess I do. I bought this twice. God damn it. Alright, this is Kia's room. Okay. Can I give anything to cop? More food? I gave him a salmon last time. Gave me an ingenuity. Give him a catfish. What you got for me? Yeah, alright. Giving us a gift, eh? Why can't I do that more often? I wonder if they'd let me give a cat over at the gate, too. Or we should. You're so warm, Zayt. Let's take a nap together. Oh, precious. I'm starting to understand why everyone loves Kia so much. Yeah, she's a good kid. Uh, did I have a blind already? Oh, I did have a blind already. She's got decent quartz just like on her own. She is definitely not an arts caster. She's definitely a physical character. I've never had her like, I think I've only ever had her as a support and I didn't have a choice. So maybe I should put her in the party, like, actually in the party. Uh, make her evasion. She's at 25%, that's not bad. Uh, gain CP every turn, why not? What does she have? Sleep, okay. A delay? Only for one, though. Move minus five? That sounds that sounds very mean and abusable for certain enemies. Her support's a speed minus 50. Sp supports don't come up very often, though. You can't really control when they come up. The Blast Storm. Hmm... What is Randy's support? Mary M. Burn. You had like the protection. Heal 28. That's still so weird. It's such a specific amount. Heal 28%. Defense up. You get strength and CP. Okay. She's got really high defense, actually, too. Let's try this for a little bit. Why not? Although I think once I get the armors for everybody, they'll be pretty equal. Yeah, because she already has these. Do I need... Yeah, I'll just do, I'll just do. Oh, I can't afford everything. Wait, I already had a rigid leather. Now I have five of them? Oh wait, no, that's Noel's. I assume. Yeah, that was Noel's. I mean, I do have more Sepith. 
I can just buy it all right now. I have to leave the fast travel. All right, let's just let's just go back to the bank again. <laughs> I need these ones the least in terms of unlocking slots. So, two hundred there, one hundred there. All right, that's definitely enough. A lot more than I needed, actually. I did lose some movement, but that doesn't really matter for Tio. Alright. We are equipped. Uh, I do immediately want to check how many U materials I would need before I do any other exploring or anything. As good as new, this place never fails to get the job done. Oh, hey, Scott, do you come here regularly? Well, the store gives off the impression that it's an illegally run business. No need to be like that. You guys come here often too, right? Racer has to take advantage of everything at their disposal, or we'd have trouble making it in Crossbell. Hmm, might be a good idea to bring my Enigma here the next time it breaks, too. Oh, it's ten each? Two of these don't have innate on hits, which is kind of unfortunate. This one's Tio's, right? A KO on Tio? I mean, I definitely do this one. I could just do these two for the for the on hits. Hmm. I feel like just keeping the on hits is better for the other two. Wait. Oh, I lost some because I upgraded the weapon, so it doesn't matter. I don't have any on hits on my weapons anymore. I am dumb. Those are the last ones. I don't like upgrading only two of them, though. I prefer doing all four at once. Uh, I'm gonna do the monster first, because it's been just all, it's just been all dialogue and cutscene tonight. So let's do this. Put the coddle. Make us faint. West Crossbell Highway. Alright, alright. Plan on splurging. One hilarious interaction with Noel. I'll eventually find it. This is definitely gonna be one of those times where I run around, run around and talk to literally everyone. Ah, bleh. wait, that's new. Okay, your attack's pretty slow. A cragasp. I get it. A Craig rasp. That makes more sense. It's immune to everything but attack delay? My god. <laughs> what are we to win? Well, let's just attack delay it. No turn for you. Uh, let's just attack normally. Well, that was sad. Uh, we'll attack to lay it. Did you see how many supposed hits was in there? If I did them on a Sepeth turn, I'd get like a million fucking Sepeth, wouldn't I? Probably just do some spells. Probably got really high defense. It's not gonna have a turn though. Stronger. 
You have a spark die. Let's do that. I don't think I need to attack delay again. Okay, that took a while to kill. Not a fan of that. But this is still like... Yeah, those are weak. That looks new too. Fuck. Should, I, should, I thought it would be like a strong thing and I'd stun it. I didn't recognize that one. Maybe that was a rare spawn. Maybe not. Maybe it's just been a long time since I've walked down this road. Oh no, it's just it's just been a long time since I've walked down this road. The only new addition. It was ridiculously tanky. I'll tell you. I want to look. Hold on. Let's look at its stats. Come on, West Highway. It had super high defense. Even, like, the, the arts didn't do, like, a ton of damage, though. Even though its art defense was super low. Like, it did damage, but, like... Yeah, I'm not gonna... Hold on, what, what, uh, what, 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 what did it draw? Finding anything? You materials. Although, I can just go to the Stargazer's Tower if I want to grind those. Those are a lot easier to kill. Oh, go away. Why are there so many of them? Why are they directly in the way? Monster at. Sometimes I regret using turbo. I could just run. Nah, I'll just kill it. I actually haven't seen how strong it is because it's never attacked me. Do I have like Fortuna? No. Her arts were pretty crap, so I may as well just keep attack delaying it. I know Tio does. Arts up. I'd rather just do another attack spell, though. Do you have Fortuna? No. I wish somebody. I wish one of my non like attack casters had Fortuna. Should probably set that up. They're used. They're, they're visible on the mini map, right? Yeah. Oh, I should have just. Should have just attacked that one. I come on. I wanted a free tomato. Was I supposed to talk to someone first? West Crossbell Highway. They always just show up on the... Yeah, 
Is it because- hold on. It's because I took Lloyd out, so I don't have Eagle Eye. So you don't see if you don't have Eagle Eye, is that why? That's why they're not showing up on the minimap. Hold on, let's just go back to the start. That is exactly why I didn't see it on the minimap. I'm so used to seeing them on the minimap. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, now it doesn't show up because I don't have fucking eagle eye. Uh, I, don't know, I was wondering why I wasn't seeing it. I was like, what the fuck? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that's a decent amount of damage. We can do attack related stat downs, which is nice. They're all, there's just gonna be like upgraded versions of the other thing. But I'm definitely gonna want Fortuna. Um, I wish I could hit both. Because we could also, like, I don't know what all of its attacks, but if they can't move. And they can't reach us. That would be kind of funny. I wish I could hit both of these. Uh... Um... Make sure we have a million turns and they don't. Uh, chrono down. Let's do. Chrono. Oh, I'm getting both now. Oh, that's because she has ex uh, extended arts. Range. Alright. They're fully chrono downed. We're gonna be chrono up. I'll just attack, delay you. Um, I should. Tina again. Oh, I kind of wish this was happening before the crit, because then I could. Uh. Then I'd have Fortuna, and then I can S-Craft with, like, Super Fortuna buff on a crit with 200 CP. There's no way around this, I think. I'm gonna see if I just have an Arts Up for Tio specifically. I'll just use that. And then she'll S-Craft on the crit. Um, I may as well actually do some damage. I'll have to hit both. And then I really wish I could be hitting both of them. This should do a lot, though. It wasn't as much as I thought it would be, but it's still good. Uh, 
ますよはいやさてとドライブ開始<笑> I think I got this おっしゃあたしの番ですね I could probably stop attack delay, honestly. Attack delay and speed down is so fucking OP. I don't even need I didn't even need to like chrono drive us or anything. I could have just skipped that. Spark Dime, the healthier one. And because I gave Noelle the belt, she just has, like, she's gaining CP even though I'm constantly using it. Sure, why not? It's not gonna do a lot of damage though, so. <laughs> I saw three! Yeah, I don't even need to attack delay. It took a while, but that was pretty easy. I really wish they'd show me the stats on my level. That's the only sad part. Hey, we did it. I'm playing on hard, by the way, not nightmare or anything. Play all the games on hard because I always hear nightmares a, a literal nightmare. I prefer to progress in my RPGs. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Which one should I do? What is the next one? Talk to Anton. Food or books? I kind of want to talk to Anton first. The Long Loud Tavern. Should probably talk to people all along the way. I'll do some buildings and stuff later. Oh, I'm almost so shy. What's up, everyone? Who's the new face? Oh, this is Sergeant Major Seeker. She's from the Guardian Force. Nice to meet you. Friends actually told me quite a bit about this bakery. I think she mentioned that one of your bakers is a culinary genius. Apparently, he was even featured in the Crossbell Times. Oh, that article? You got a spot in the Crossbell Times? That's awesome, man. Given how extraordinary his skills are, I cannot say I'm surprised. Oh, no, honestly, I was a little reluctant to participate in the whole thing. I'm still just in training, you know? Didn't have much of a choice, though. Morg kept pushing me to do it since it had helped bring in more sales. With all that to live up to, I was definitely feeling the pressure to nail this month's signature creation. Are you stressed? This really is a big deal. I'll have to try some for myself, then. CP45. That's worth just, like, have one just in case. I don't have a golden croissant, why not? I'll probably never use it. Although it is a full heal. Speaking of heal.
We get there during a full moon, the sound of a beautiful bell will ring out through the area. No one knows anything about it except that it was built in the Middle Ages. Hmm. Every time I hear a bell, I just think about that that bell lady from the Sky Games. I'm like, is she fucking with people? As far as I know, I remember, she hasn't made another appearance. She didn't... She didn't die or anything, did she? No. I remember she was a boss at the end of Sky... Two? She was one of the bosses for Sherizard. I just realized there's a little girl named Momo and Mimi. And they look identical. That didn't occur to me until just now. The outcome of the fight depends on whether you brought Sherizard for the boss fight. I don't remember if I did. I remember I didn't bring the appropriate people for every single fight because it was like really tedious to like run all the way back down, switch out party members, set them up with fucking courts and bring them back. And I was like, I can't do this over and over. So I, I did skip a few people for those. I think I did for, I think I brought Sherazard for that one. Yeah, it is optional. It's cool. And it's like it's like appropriate, right? But it's like the amount of time it would take to have that character you bring in be combat viable because you gotta like set up the courts all puzzle like to get the right spells you want. It's just like, ugh. I mean to do that over and over and over and over and over. I was just like, I can't. <laughs> it's especially since it took a while to like run all the way back to a place where you could switch characters and then run all the way back to the boss. And it got longer and longer with every boss. There wasn't, there wasn't really any checkpoints for like party changes at the beginning of the dungeon from what I remember. I feel like at some point I'm gonna have to specifically grind for fire seven. That's the one I'm always low on. Do I have money for this? I do. I've not bought any of these. I like this one the most so far. I like the dark color with a paw. Of course this is Randy's. Of course it is! going? Oh yeah, the tavern. Completely forgot where that where the quest was. Ooh, that guy mad. I 
feel like this is similar to what they were saying in the beginning of the game. Are, is Revishay just like, are they just being dipshits? Like more than usual? Oh, it's because the Arios isn't here. Uh, explains a lot. Calvary Mafia. I like them better than Revache, apparently. Cold still set me up with Shan Chan because it seemed like Shan Chan would have like a bigger role in this game and she's just the waitress of this tavern. But I felt like she was mentioned several times when we came here in Cold Steel. And I was like, oh, Shan Chan must be a prominent character. Nope. At least not yet. All right. That's not really a spoiler. Not really a spoiler. Other than, you know, Crossbell is present in the Cold Steel game. Please let me meet with that beautiful angel again. Uh, excuse me, are you Anton? Yep, that's me. Who are you, though? We're with the Crossbow Police Department Special Support Section. We're here to consult with you about your uh, support request. Oh, I've been waiting for you. There's something I want to ask for your help with right away. Will you hear me out? Yeah, we will. The request stated that you're trying to locate a woman, right? Yeah, I really need to find her so I can give her my thanks. She pulled me out of the darkness when no one else could. Care to elaborate? Sure, my best friend Ricky and I came here from Liberal on vacation. To be honest, my life stinks. I figured visiting somewhere a little more exciting might help turn it around. Uh, sure, fair enough. Nothing changed, though. I still got slapped across the face by the cold, cruel reality of my life. To make matter wor matters worse, I managed to lose my wallet and all the money I bought for this trip along with it. Oh, man, that really is unfortunate. Well, yeah, I leave it to someone as dull and hopeless as myself to screw up that badly. Really am my own worst enemy, aren't I? Ricky already tried to help me find my wallet, but it was to no avail. I was thinking I had no other choice but to borrow some mirror from him and limp back home to Laboral. However, that was when it all began. Just when all hope was lost, that kind, kind woman gave me the helping hand I needed. Man, I'm jealous. You don't find a gal like that every day. Seriously, it was all thanks to her... her her efforts that I was able to get my wallet back in one piece. As you can imagine, I thought our meeting could only have been fated. When I was lost, trapped in an endless pit of darkness, she held out her hand and pulled me back into the light. She's nothing short of an angel. So, to make an increasingly long story short, you want us to find this girl, right? Yes, that's exactly right. Problem is, I've been searching for her for the last three weeks, but I haven't found a single lead. I asked the Bracer Guild to help a poor guy out, but they turned me down. I claimed that it'd be a low-priority case, since she isn't exactly missing. They had far more important work they needed to focus on. Hell, if this were liberal, I'd be able to get help with something as mundane as a drinking contest. Are you okay? That's when we first met Anton! I... Mm, I forgot that was Anton! Oh, the drinking contest. God, that was that's but I think that's the funniest quest of the entire series. I'm fine, just reopened an old wound. Anyway, moving along. Ricky heard about your team while he was out on the town, so he has submitted a request for me. Your team's pretty much like the Bracer Guild, right? Come on, help a poor guy out. Well, sure, I suppose. I didn't know the SSS handled requests of this nature. 
Your work has a much wider scope than I thought it did. To be fair, something like this is quite rare. So what's the plan, Lloyd? I do not know how I feel about the CPD involving themselves in other people's personal affairs. She makes a good point. Gotta be honest with you guys, I kinda wanna scope out this chick. What did she look like anyway? Bet she's cute as heck, yeah? Cute as heck doesn't even begin to describe her. I still have her burned into my memory. She had a gentle aura about her that could calm even the most churlish of men. Her calm voice radiates an unbridled kindness. And don't even get me started on her utterly adorable auburn pigtail. Is this Estelle? But he's met Estelle. Like, many times. Why now? Unless it's someone- unless it's Maribel. It might be Maribel. She also has- it is more- it is more pigtaily. Because they curl. It's probably Maribel. Huh? I can't help but shake the feeling that I know someone like that. I agree, that sounds awfully familiar. I too seem to recall encountering someone with, of a similar description frequently. Well, he's clearly talking about our- oh, is it Fran? Oh, it could be Fran too. I think you're right. Wait a second, you guys know her? That also makes sense. I don't think Maribel would ever give this guy the time of day. They have applicable hair, though. It's a strong chance we do. You said she had auburn colored hair. Was it roughly the same color as mine? Yeah, it is. It totally is. No, wait, don't tell me. Are you related to each other? Well, assuming we're not mistaken, then yes. I'm actually her older sister. Oh, thank you, sweet Adios. You hear that, Ricky? Fate strikes again. Sure, Anton, if that's what your heart believes, then maybe you're right. So you're kind of ignoring the possibility that she might not actually be the one. Excuse me, dear sister. What? Does she already have, you know, a romantic partner? Huh? Um, not that I've heard of. We don't live together, but she's never told me anything of this sort. I see. Anyway, I'd like to really show her my most heartfelt thanks before I head back to Laboral. Would you do me the great honor of asking her to meet with me? Hmm. Well, I suppose I don't mind. Are you okay with taking on this request, Lloyd? Alright, we'll accept your request. Yes, thank you so, so, so much. Okay then, I'm counting on you guys. Please get her to promise to meet with me again. Now that it's settled, we should head over to the precinct and see if we can get a hold of her. I bet she's manning the reception desk right now. Good idea, I'll come along with you. You can tell Ricky is just done with Anton's shit. Because Anton does this constantly. And we've seen Anton do this constantly throughout the games. The target of his of his affections constantly shipped. They're always a sweet radiant angel that is the love of his life. Oh, hi everyone. I see you're still tagging along with the SSS, huh, Noe? Did you guys run into a snag while you were investigating those ruins? Uh, no, not quite. We're actually here to speak with you, Fran. With me? Did I do something wrong? Not at all. We're just following a lead for this request we're working on. You see, there's a tourist claiming that you helped him during the last day of the anniversary festival. You apparently helped him find his wallet. Does that ring any bells? Hmm, a wallet? Let me think about that for a second. Oh, right, I do remember that. He's a traveler from La Burl, right? So he really did meet Fran. And boy, let me tell you, that was one hard day. I was on my way home from work when I ran into a man on the verge of tears. I knew I just couldn't leave him like that. We were out past sundown trying to track down that darn wallet of his. I it to Fran to drop everything to help some poor schmuck she doesn't even know. Well, I am a member of the police force, it's my duty to help those in need too. I called HQ over and over again to see if the wallet got turned in. Funnily enough, we ended up finding out under his bed at the inn he was staying at. I was relieved it wasn't stolen at least. So, it was all a false alarm. Anyway, what did you need from me? Did something happen to him? Right, about that. We learned that his name is apparently Anton, and as it turns out, 
He's still here in Crossbow City, even though the festival is well over. He's been trying to track you down for weeks, and he doesn't want to leave until he's had a chance to thank you. That's why his friend submitted a request to the SSS to help him out. Wow, really? Oh, I'm flattered. So, what do you, what do you say, friend? No one's forcing you to meet him, so you have every right to refuse if you don't want to. I don't see why not. He's been trying his hardest to find me, hasn't he? Seriously? You're sure? I promise you don't have to go through this just to help out us with our request. Oh, no, that's not why I agreed to it. I would actually like to meet him again, too. After our little adventure from last time, I'm sure we'll have plenty to sit back and laugh about. Oh, but I might not be able to make time for him considering I'm working. Shoot. If that's the case, then it's out of our hands. Excuse me, everyone. Uh, what's up, Rebecca? I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation like this, but... Your lunch break is coming up pretty soon, isn't it, friend? Why don't you ask, to meet him, you ask him to meet you then? Really? Do you mind? A little unorthodox, since you're technically on duty, but you should have enough time for a chat. As long as you do it during your break, I'll be able to hold down the fort. You seem to be having a little bit too much fun with this, Rebecca. Well, since you're going out of your way to help me out, I'll accept your offer. Well then, how about this little rendezvous? Would being stepped in Central Square be alright? I can head there in a little bit. Well, as long as you're okay with it, I should go and tell Anton the plan. Make sure he knows I'm looking forward to it, too. Fran, don't tell me she's actually interested in this Anton guy. Something up, Noelle? You seem to be off in a whole other world there. It's nothing, Randy. I'm fine. Anyway, Lloyd, let's go report the news to Anton. Alright, sounds like a plan. I get the feeling we're going to see a bit of a, a sisterly spat. Stop it, Fran. He's not good enough for you. Slap. Probably not a slap, but you know. Hello again, Anton. You guys are back already. How'd it go? Did you get Fran to agree to meet, meet with me? Surprisingly enough, yes. She seemed receptive to the whole idea. She'll be on break soon, so she'd like to meet you at the restaurant in Central Square. Oh, she would? Thank you so much. I don't know how I'll ever repay you for this. Man, oh man, I don't. I didn't think a bum like myself would ever get a lucky break. He seems a little overly thrilled. I'm glad it's working out for you, Anton. All right, I need to find her an appropriate gift to thank her for her help. I don't actually have anything prepared for her. Dude, seriously? Should have had that planned well in advance. The date's already knocking on your damn door. But, hey, can you blame me? I didn't think I'd be able to be meeting her this quickly. Oh, I know just the thing. Uh, pardon me, dear sister. Would you be willing to accompany me to Times? Times? Why do you want to go there? It's the perfect place to find a present for Fran. Your sister, so I figure you'll, you have all kinds of insider knowledge on her tastes and hobbies. I could find her the perfect gift. Uh, right. That note, I'd really rather you didn't call me dear sister. Um, and could the rest of you come along and help me pick out a present too? Uh... Look at me with those puppy dog eyes. This is becoming more bothersome by the second. Well, we've come this far, so we may as well see it through to the end. Alright, shall we go to times then? Sir, yes sir. Thanks so much, you guys. Well, we should probably hurry and pick out Fran's present. I don't think we got time for that now, Lloyd. Fran's probably already on her way to the restaurant. Randy's right, Lloyd. Since he invited her, making her wait wouldn't be very polite. What do we do then? I propose we divide into two teams. Ellie, Randy, and I will go to the restaurant in advance. Once there, we will explain to Fran that you will be arriving a bit late. And in the meantime, Noelle and I can help Anton pick out a present. I think that would be the most efficient course of action at this point. Do I have to pick the present? I have to pick the present, don't I? I can't thank you enough, everyone, for everything. I'm truly blessed to have met such kind and charitable people. Please don't start crying, I beg you. Anyway, let's go with Teal's plan. I'm counting on you guys. Leave it to us. Try to be brief. Better arrive with a present that'll knock her dead. You know, with happiness. We're running on borrowed time, so let's get to the department store. Anton, keep your eyes peeled. Sergeant Major, speak up if you see anything Fran might like. I don't suppose I have any other choice. I mean, you're dead, dear sister. Dear sister. <sighs> I 
Welcome to my general store. Are you looking for anything in particular? Actually, we're looking for a present that'd be suitable for a young woman. A present for a young woman? Hmm. Oh, I know just the thing. How about this Michi plush? There isn't a girl in the world who doesn't like stuffed toys, right? Ooh, I'm getting a good feeling about this one, you guys. What do you think? It's really cute. Fran loves cutesy things, so that's not a bad idea. The thing is, I'm not really sure whether she likes Mishi that much. Ah, what the heck do I do? I'm so bad at stuff like this. Why do you think a Mishi plush would make a good present for Fran? Give it some more thought. It would probably be better to look around a bit more first. Uh, did they have anything to say? Don't. Are you by any chance picking up something for your girlfriend, wife, perhaps? She must be a lucky girl. No, we aren't anywhere near that level. I mean, maybe someday. Welcome to Legion's Foods. I deal with a wide variety of imported ingredients. Actually, we're looking for a present that would be suitable for a young woman. Really now? Well, in that case, how about a jar of ice jam imported straight from Ramaferia? Its cool, smooth texture is absolutely irresistible. It's been all the rage. Jam would definitely be an unexpected kind of gift. Would Fran even like it, though? Fran does love bread, that's for sure. She'd probably be very excited to get some rare jam to go with it. Still, a present that doesn't eventually run out would, event would probably be nicer, wouldn't it? Ugh, what, what, what should I do? Give it some more thought. Okay. Welcome. If you're looking for a pair of shoes, you've come to the right store. Runners, leather shoes, boots, you name it. We have a wide selection of shoes to satisfy our customers' every need. What sort of woman's shoes do you have? We're trying to find a gift for someone. Hmm, let me see. How do you feel about these Striga boots? Striga Corporation is as reliable as shoemakers come, and the brand has become quite popular among girls lately. A pair of boots? Excuse me, dear sister. Do you know if Fran wears boots? I think I remember Fran saying she was interested in getting some boots not too long ago. No clue if she was talking about this particular brand, though. Okay, okay. Hmm. We're compiling data. Gathering things. Our humble shop primarily deals in small accessories and jewelry. They may seem a bit on the pricey side, but I assure you, each and every one of our products is of the highest quality. We're looking for a gift for a young woman. What would you recommend? Oh, I think I know just the thing. Perhaps you'll consider our pink moon necklace. Isn't it just beautiful? As you can see, it's garnished with a dazzling pink jewel, only adding to its grace and refinement. Wow, it's perfect. Pink is one of Fran's favorite colors, and the necklace itself is gorgeous. I feel like it might be too extravagant for the first gift you give her, you know? Hmm, I don't want her to get the wrong idea. Welcome to Luca Boutique. We have every style of clothing you can ever ask for, from children's clothes to fancy business suit. Do not hesitate to ask me for assistance. For a present. With the gift for a young lady, well, let's see what we have in stock. I want to go with one of our newest products, the Knitted Palm Beanie. I assure you she'll become infatuated with the soft, fluffy sensation of the white palm. A beanie? Well, I could definitely see Fran wearing this, considering how cute it is. Hmm. I think it would match well with the clothes she usually wears. I'm not sure she likes to wear hats in the first place, given the way she styles her hair. I didn't think about that. Looks like this would be a risky bet. Do we still have time to look at some of the other shops? Okay. So there's the Mishi plush. She likes cute things. Uh, the necklace is also cute, and the beanie is also cute. Uh, she loves bread, and therefore would love jam. Fran was like, it would it would be better to have something that doesn't run out. And that's the only time she said anything like that. 
uh, Strigas. Striga boots. Well, I know that Estelle loves Strigas. That's my only lead. <laughs> Estelle loves Strigas. Maybe Pran will too. Uh, she said she wanted boots. A beanie wouldn't go with her hair. She wouldn't be able to have her hair the way she likes it and wear a beanie. So that part's true. The necklace is kind of extravagant. But it's like cute and it's her favorite color. I hear what Fran says about the boots again. Oh, I just don't know if it's this brand. I kind of want to go with the boots. It's definitely the most useful. I have no idea if she even likes Mishi. I have no reason to even know if she likes Mishi. Maybe she mentioned it once during the festival. I bet you she did and I just forgot. Hmm. I am leaning towards the boots. Good things did she say about each item and how well did they go with Fran? Yeah. And she didn't really say about like... She didn't say about... She didn't say that... I can't even form, form a sentence. Fran didn't say anything about... Her liking boots, just saying that she needed some boots. could just go with a necklace. The worst thing she said was, oh, it was a little extravagant, but it's like, oh, it's her favorite color. And it's cute. I think that is like the most, the most positive thing she said. For the Mishi plush, it was just, oh, she, she likes cute things. For the... For the beanie, it was like, Again, she likes cute things, but bad for the hair. Hmm. I'm going with the necklace, I think. I'm recommending it. Go all out, Anton. I'll take it. Could you wrap it up in something pretty? Wonderful. Give me a second. I'll, I'll get this ready. Thanks, you two. I never would have been able to pick out something this nice by myself. All I can do now is hope that Fran loves it. Well, you won't know until you actually give it to her. Shoot, it's almost time for us to meet everyone over at Ving Sept. You don't want to keep Fran waiting. It's finally time. I think I'm ready. Boy, here we go. Why well, and Anton are late? What's taking them so long? Could not say. However, I do know that keeping a lady waiting is at the top of the rudeness scale. Tis, tis, tis. Guys just sink just as much effort into finding the right look as ladies do with, with dolling themselves up. Well, Randy, you must have, have a lot of experience under your belt to know that just off the cuff. You can tell? Well, I don't want to brag. i will be going on a date with me next time, friend. I'll show you around all the hottest spots in town. Only the best for a girl like you. Well, you flatter me, Randy. Randy, are you seriously hitting on her at a time like this? It was just a little joke to lighten the mood. Sorry about the wait, everyone. Oh, it's Lloyd and Noe? And, uh... Uh, good afternoon. 
Long time no see. Uh, no, I mean, uh, sorry to make you wait so long. Oh, hello, Anton. Uh, you, you know my name? Oh, right. The only others mentioned it to me earlier. Ah, so that's why. Oh, I guess this is why they say you you shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch. Aren't you guys a little late? Sorry about that. Choosing a present took longer than we expected. Well, at least you were able to find something. Is it nice? Well, it should be fine. It could have been a whole lot worse, so there's that at least. Alright, you two, save the chit chat for the meal. Brand doesn't get that much of a break, right? Better not waste any time. Good point. Well, Anton, shall we find a table? Uh, yeah, definitely. I get the feeling I didn't pick the best one based on the dialogue that, that they just said. Well, I say we move on up to the second floor. It'd be kind of hard for us to keep watch on them from here, you know? Are you thinking of spying on them? Come on, you can't tell me you're not worried about how this is going to pan out. Watching over our clients until the request is complete is part of the job. That's right, it's our duty to see this through. Sorry, but to be honest, I'm pretty curious myself. The dialogue for that part is the same? Okay. You too, Noel? Well, I guess you have a point. Besides, Anton looks like he's sweating bullets. Maybe keeping an eye on them is for the best. We can keep him in check. Sweet, now that that's decided, let's head on upstairs. Someone sure is having fun. Oh, so, uh, they told me that you still remembered me after all this time, friend. Of course, it happened on the last day of the anniversary festival. How could I forget? That sure was a rough day. You haven't dropped your wallet again, have you? Of course not. After all the effort you spent to find it, I'm never letting it out of my sight again. You're right, Anton. Yes, I don't understand what part of that was funny, but things seem to be going okay so far. That reminds me, Anton. After I found your wallet, you kept on spacing out a lot. You know, I was worried that you came down with a fever or something. It's probably just entranced by your sheer beauty. Hmm, did you say something? Nope. <laughs> Poor bastard's got a long way to go before he has a shot with the ladies. Are you supposed to pick up a gal if you keep mumbling all your all your lines? But, you know, they seem to be getting along pretty well. Friends having no issues chatting away like she usually does. Anton, on the other hand, still looks alarmingly tense. Friends pretty much the definition of a social butterfly, definitely compared to me at least. She's always been like... She's always... She's always been like with just about anyone. Even with people she's just met. I suppose I assume it's supposed to say she's always been like that. Noelle, are you alright? You appear to be bothered by something. Well, I wouldn't go that far. It's just sure, she's always been popular with the boys, but I've never heard her mention actually being interested in anyone before. And she's actually she's acting unusually friendly with this Anton. You're just worried about her, aren't you? I mean, I guess you're right. She's my little sister, you know? Of course I want to look out for her. Seems like Noelle's the particularly protective older sister type. I sure hope I don't cause Cecile any kind of grief like this. Whoa, would you look at that? That right there is the face of a man who knows just what he wants. I think he's finally taken the plunge. Um, hey friend. Yes, is something wrong? I just wanted to explain why I was so adamant about searching for you. I surely wanted to show my gratitude to, to you for not giving up on finding my wallet during the anniversary festival. So, will you accept this? Wait, I think I saw this in a magazine a while ago. Isn't it insanely expensive? Are you sure I can have this? Uh, well, thank you. I'll be sure to cherish it, Anton. I knew it. That necklace was way too nice of a gift for a first date. Still, it's now or never, Anton. Friend, do you like anybody right now? Huh? Um, no, not really. Oh, but there is someone I love with all my heart. Is it Mishi? Should I have given her a Mishi plushie? Is something the matter, Anton? Uh-oh. She, sh she, sh she shot him down that fast? The fact she didn't even see it as a rejection made it cut even deeper. Sadly, I don't think there's anything we can really do in a case like this. Shall we pray for him? <laughs> this is the game over sound! <laughs> it's just... 
This is the music when you die! Uh, don't worry, I understand. Anton? Uh, sorry, I gotta go. Friend, I really hope you and that person work out. Huh? Is it really the white palm beanie? Wow. I wouldn't think she'd want that because it wouldn't work with her hair. Like, she wears a hat for work, but it's like a tiny little cap. Oh, hey. Thanks for helping me out with the present and everything. I mean it. Anton, I don't know what to say. Don't bother. I don't need to be comforted or baby. This happens to me all the time. My life is and always will be a clumsy series of trial and error. Maybe someday things will work out for a guy like me. I do not quite follow. Huh? Didn't you notice? That serene, blissful expression Fran had when she said she had someone she loves. After I saw that, I knew he didn't have a chance in the world at snatching her away. I just had to throw in the towel. That's that, friends. <laughs> Fran shattered the poor guy into pieces. It may take some time, but I'm sure he'll be, he'll be fine. Aw, Anton really did leave. He must have been running late for his airship or something, I suppose. Fran? Noe, what's up? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Fran, give it to me straight. Who's this person you supposedly love? Is it Lloyd? Or don't tell me, Randy? Whoa, hold on. I was wondering why the Sergeant Major was being so quiet. I suppose this answers that question. Oh boy, now that, now that the cat's out of the bag, it looks like... Hey, Randy? I think that's enough of that, hmm? You wouldn't want to go and make things even more complicated. You wish that smog could drive off a herd of rhino ciders. You tell me everything, don't you? Why would you hide something as big as this from me? He isn't some troublemaker that you can't tell anyone about, is he? Uh, calm down a little, Noe. Everyone is looking at us funny. Forget about that. I need answers. Pretend the rest of them are sacks of potatoes or something. Oh, honestly, Noe. If you want to know that bad, I'll give you a hint. That special someone works in the crossbow guardian force and has a very strong sense of justice. And they've always been as kind as can be to me. He's in the CGF? He isn't stationed at Tangram Gate, is he? They are! Never knew someone in my unit was that close to you. Is it Jack? Burl? No, wait. Is it Mr. Tomas from the mess hall? This is getting a little out of hand. <sighs> I'm disappointed, Noe. I thought you would have figured it out by now. You didn't give me much to go on. Are you really going to make me say it? Isn't it obvious that I was talking about you? You're kidding. Oopsie, my break's almost over. I'll see you all later. Take take good care of Noe for me. Yeah, see you, Fran. That's how it was, eh? Don't Fran will know more about romance for a while with a head like that on her shoulders. At least the Sergeant Major here can rest easy for now. Thank idios, thank you. Hey, are you doing alright, Sergeant Major? Sorry about that, it's just I suddenly felt a wave of exhaustion hit me. Aw, oh, you really were worried about her. Yeah, I might have gone a little overboard there, sorry guys. I never meant to let you see that side of me. Thank you for helping me with this mess. No, I can't help but feel bad for Anton. Do you think you'll ever love again? Are you not feeling sorry for yourself as well, Lloyd? I saw your eyes light up when Fran said there was someone she loved. That definitely didn't happen, and I'd really appreciate it if you didn't make misleading comments like that. Anyway, we can always go check on Anton when we're free later. For now, I'd say our job here is done. Yeah, I guess so. Ready to go, guys? Well, that was silly. I'm gonna call it there for the night. It's that time of night where I gotta stop. Or at least I gotta be quieter. And it's weird to like read out voices while being quiet about it. Cause then it's like, it's not energetic and it's boring. So, if you enjoyed your time here, feel free to follow if you've not done so already. But until next time, thanks for hanging out. Nine potions are too strong for you, traveler.